a lot of things going on right now, and, and certainly it's been good to be back on the practice field and, you know, had an opportunity this week to be out in New York and, you know, Dakota get is up for, you know, one of the highest awards. Um, and that was awesome to, to see him there and, and how he took it all in. And then last night was able to be with uh, JT and, and winning the Doak Walker and, and then got their banquet tonight and got some uh, more practices. So it's a, it's a good time right now. Yeah, I mean, you know, what he's done, you know, what he did this year and, uh, you know, what he's done. And I think as importantly, how he's done it uh, has been, it's been special and, and fun to be a part of and watch and see. And um, and yet I love, you know, he's still been driving back with him last night and it's, you know, it's about still going forward, you know, and, and uh, he's a, uh, He's a special person. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, haven't had as much time, you know, watched a little bit of them. Um, and certainly, you know, it's a, it's a good team. And uh, I think our, our players are excited about that. And, you know, we've got to have a, a good couple weeks of preparation because, uh, you know, it's not often you, you play, you know, teams that you don't really not schedule to play and then you get them back to back. You know, in, in bowl games, I was talking with Coach Rick about that. It's uh, pretty unique, so we got, certainly got to have a good preparation for it because, uh, you know, I'm sure it's uh, it's a new team. Both teams are, you know, it's new year, but um, you know, I think that the fact that you played them last year that that'll mean something. Well, you know what? We're just uh, working through stuff right now, and and uh, you know, Alex has been our starter. Last couple of years, there's a little bit of a narrative that maybe you guys wouldn't show up for the bowl game because you ended the season on a disappointing loss. But what's kind of the key to you know getting guys to to really um, you know, take this opportunity um, and, and play well in this game when maybe you didn't reach the ultimate goal of the season? Well, I mean, it's it's one one last opportunity for this team to play, and uh, you know that's been the case. You know, it is for every team in a bowl, and uh, that's the that's the opportunity we get. You know, how do we finish it? And uh, you know, this group's you know, there's, there's guys that have you know, our seniors have played in a lot of these bowl games, right? And guys have been a part of it, and and each year's different. So we just got to have good preparation and and take advantage of that opportunity, and make the most of it. Does the uh, the, the five and zero record the seniors could have with the win here? Does that you know, that means a lot to them in the bowl games? The five and zero. I think what means the most is this opportunity, and I think then at the end of guys' careers, you look back and you can reflect how you want to. Well, Alex has had an unusual season with mm -hmm. the, the head injury. Is right. obviously something nobody could prepare for or predict. But when you evaluate his season, what specific areas do you feel like you've seen him improve, and what areas did you feel like maybe you didn't see the growth that you you had hoped? Yeah, I think you know, probably kind of like we're talking about with. You know, there's a time for the reflection and all that, and and he has he's fought through uh, a number of different things, you, you know, and I, and I think when you say what's your takeaway, I think that's a big part of it. You know, he hasn't had that to certainly this extent, and and so how you go through that, and um, you know, you take a lot of bits and pieces from games, and 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 you, you can evaluate it and, and look at it, but um, right now you're just trying to. You know, kind of, you're still in the, there's bowl and you got some time, but you're still into this, finishing out this season. And, and like I said, after the, you know, our last game, you know, you're on the road recruiting and, and going. And, and that's where these practices have been good to kind of get back with it. But he's uh, he's fighting through it and you appreciate that a ton from him. Does he look like a better quarterback to you now, though, than last year, though? Is that I think there's been times where he has been, you know, and then there's times where, for different reasons, not as well. It seems like the last couple of years, more kids, seniors, have looked at a bowl game and said, you know, maybe I'm going to set out the bowl game and start prepping for the future. Have you ever had to deal with that as a head coach? And how do you approach that if a kid comes to you and says, hey, coach, I'm, I'm thinking about doing this? Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, haven't had it a lot. Um, you know, I think all the things that kids go through, 
are ones you want to talk with and help them process it, right? Um, you know, so they're all very individual. Uh, it's an individual issue or topic or, or whatnot. So I think you hope that you've built it up where you've got a relationship where you can have good, honest conversations. Is anybody on this team this year sitting out for any other reason? Not that I know of. players in the country and he's shown that yeah when you saw he wasn't a high finalist did you have any reaction or did you feel you know he belonged in that to be one of those people based on his well, I think certainly you know what he's done he should be in every one of those conversations and and yet I think when you look at a lot of these awards and we've said this for years that you know it's also a product of I think your team success you know I think they go hand in hand and, um, you know, a lot of these awards, I mean, they're all deserve. I mean, like JT was saying this last night, you know, he, he's watching the highlights of the guys and he's like, geez, that guy's special. And I said, that's what's pretty cool. You're in that conversation. You're in that group, right? And, um, you know, I think you're always in a dangerous thing when, you know, I don't know if you say what the three that are going. I think there's three going. It's kind of how we started this, you know. Who are you picking? You know, and it's the same. I mean, all three really deserving, and I think JT's deserving and should be in all those conversations. And you guys have obviously played Miami before, mm -hmm. so and you mentioned two new teams playing each other. So what's different about this Wisconsin team versus when you guys played Miami last time? I think it's. I mean. It's a different roster, you know. Um, the guys that played last year are not the same player, you know. And I think I'm sure it's the same with them. So I think it's, you know, there's some familiarity with it. Some guys have played against Miami, but it's two, two different teams, I think. How much have you had time to dive into Miami this year? And I think they have the number one pass defense in the country. Yeah, their defense is playing really well. Just started threw on a couple games and watched them while on the plane. So haven't started the kind of where you're breaking it down and studying. You're trying to get a feel for them a little bit.